Hello friends, this video on motion in a straight line part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exams. Please make sure that you have watched part 1 and 2 before going ahead with part 3. Till now, what did we study? We study what is part length, what is dis displacement. We studied a few examples where part length is equal to displacement, path length is not equal to displacement, path length is not equal to zero but displacement is equal to zero. So now that we are clear with path length and displacement, we will introduce speed and velocity. So what is speed? Speed is the rate at which an object covers distance, rate at which an object covers distance. We saw that when we talked of path length, it was the change of position with time. Now, when we talk of speed, it is the distance covered with time, how much distance we are covering as time is passing. That is speed. Speed is a scalar quantity. Just remember what is a scalar quantity which has only magnitude, no direction. So how do we calculate speed? It is path length by time taken. Even path length was a scalar quantity. So speed is how much distance is covered in a particular time. Velocity. It is the rate at which an object changes its position. Now you would get confused with the definition of speed and velocity. You must be finding both of them as the same. But they are not. We will make it clear. Speed talks about the change in path length with time. Velocity talks about the change in displacement with time. When I say displacement, it means position. The object is getting displaced means the object is changing its position. When I talk of path length, I mean the distance. That means the path length, that is the entire distance an object is covering. So, path length would be synonymous to distance. Similarly, Position would be related to displacement. Just keep these key points in your mind. Now velocity is a vector quantity. That means it has both magnitude and direction. It is displacement by time taken. So now you can clearly understand that speed and velocity are not the same things. We have very clearly understood that path length and displacement are two different things. They are altogether different things. So speed is the rate of change of path length and velocity is the rate of change of displacement. Now let us take an example of speed and velocity. Here is Ronnie's home again and McDonald's. Now in this case we see that Ronnie travels from his home till McDonald's. Now the distance traveled would be let us suppose the distance between his home and McDonald's is distance between home and McDonald's is say two kilometers. Okay, and let us suppose that Ronnie takes a time of one hour. He is a very, he drives very slowly. So he reaches the distance of two kilometers in one hour. So for this distance, that means in reaching McDonald's from his home, we can calculate the speed of the, or we can calculate speed of Ronnie. That would be distance divided by time. Similarly, if we calculate the velocity, it would be displacement divided by time. So time would still remain one hour and the displacement would also be two kilometers. Now let us suppose that Ronnie goes from his home till McDonald's 
and then he comes back from McDonald's to home. Now in this case, the distance, that means the path length for the entire journey would become distance from home to McDonald's plus distance from McDonald's to home. So that will be 2 plus 2 that is equal to 4 kilometers. Correct? And in this case, the displacement would be equal to 0 because he starts from his home and comes back to home. Therefore, we discussed that speed is equal to path length divided by time. So in this case, path length would be 4 kilometers and time would be 1 hour. That means speed would become 4 kilometer per hour. Whereas when we talk of velocity, it is displacement divided by time taken. So velocity would become 0. So when I calculated the speed and velocity, I talked of the total journey. Total journey means going from home to McDonald's and then coming back from McDonald's to home. So I considered this total journey. But if we consider only one way, that is only from home to McDonald's, then both speed and velocity will be equal. And both will be equal to 2 kilometers per hour. I hope it is clear to you now. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.